In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to measure the distance between two points on Apple Maps. Now, I'm going to be teaching you two different ways to go ahead and do this because you might be looking for slightly different things. So the first way is going to be how to measure the distance to travel. And the second way is going to be the distance between the points just in terms of the distance rather than the travel distance. So the first way we're going to do this is we're going to go ahead and we're going to find a uh, location here so let's say we want to say this one here this park to this um, this road here let's say so what I do is I would tap here I tap and hold and place a pin here I go ahead and get myself the directions so what I've done here is I've just put two points in I've put Southwark to uh, this road here and this is going to tell me the different di the different routes so I've got three different routes here One's 18 minutes, uh, one's 21 minutes. The first one is 3.3 .3 miles, second one is 2.7. I can also go ahead and do walking view. So this one's 2.5 miles, this one is 2.6 miles. So you can do that to go through and see the travel distance. But now let's say you want to go ahead and see the distance from point A to point B in a straight line, for example. Well, we can't directly do that inside of the, you know, the app here, but there is a slight workaround. So. When you zoom in and out, you're going to notice on the top left hand side, there is this sort of measurement bar. So you can see right now, like it's on 0.5 miles. If I zoom in more, it's going to make the measurement smaller and smaller. What I can do here is now that I've got the two points marked, I can essentially zoom out with this marker and I can put the first or the zero on the first point and I can put the end bit on the second point, so the second part of the pin. So you can see as I zoom out here and I line them up, you can see that roughly the distance is going to be about 2.5 miles between the two locations there. So that is the only other way you can sort of do it in terms of straight line um, from A to B. So if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below that it helped and let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make about Apple or anything else in particular. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.